Alright, time to try, try, try again. Um, derp, 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 derp. Let's go ahead and put on a turbo jet. Let's just see if that one little difference will help. Not sure why it doesn't quite connect. Look at that. Look at that. Are you sure it's connected to the right thing? I guess it is. That's pretty sloppy right there. Hmm. I'm gonna have to come up with something to cover that up if that's the way it's supposed to look. Huh. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> All right, we'll do a barrel roll this very, uh, very flight. Mikey, how you doing? Okay. Nope. Why does this, why is this like that all the time? Okay, here we go. All right, up. Into the wild blue yonder. Is it just me or does the turbojet look different? Update. I think they did something with the color. It used to be more black. You know, jet black. <laughs> Alright, barrel roll. Whoosh. And we're still in control of the vehicle. In terms of control, I really cannot complain. Now, let's see. There is something we can do with this. Possibly. Maybe we could put this on a larger plane. And forego this entire construction there. Use that for fuel. Hmm. It wouldn't be an SSTO anymore, but it'd be something pretty interesting. And it would be cheap, provided we can keep the launch system at 100% uh, recovery. The turbojet is broken. Notice how it's not touching the fuselage and the texture is flat. The actual turbojet looks good. That look up Venn's part revamp. Alright. I didn't actually know. Is there a visual mod that I don't know? Crazy. Okay. I'm not, I'm not even paying attention here. I should probably pay attention. I'm not even paying attention to the flight. We're increasing height at a ridiculous rate here. Okay, this thing is... We're wow, we're really booking it now. Holy smokes. Turbojet is definitely where it's at. Of course, I say that like I, I didn't know that before. But... I mean, good gravy. What's our apoapsis? 37,000? Oh, man. Okay, the turbojet is probably where probably where we start the uh Alright, it's out. Now it's stage. Try to get into orbit. Okay. Not quite there yet. Turn this off. Shut down that engine. Hmm. If I were a little bit more uh, conscious about the... If I wasn't looking at chat... Hey there, part of Pure Effects, how you doing? 
think he is always... Uh, hey, this might actually make it into orbit or something. Uh, let's try, let's go for a 120 kilometer apoapsis so we can take advantage of the no I said apoapsis I must have hit Z by accident okay whatever and then we'll only need like a few hundred delta V in order to get this over here Mike 136 134 that's fine whatever Okay, 28 seconds of... That's kind of a lot of fuel. What the heck is that? Oh, that's a, the, one of the Shanaz probes from before. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're just trying to see if we can get this uh, SSTO into orbit. We could put uh, some science gear on this if this uh, can land. <laughs> if this can land, we'll put some science gear on it. That's why I haven't put anything here. I was thinking about putting a uh, docking port on there somewhere, but I don't see where we would fit one. Thirty-eight, one thirty-five. We can slow down a little bit here and get it symmetrical or circular. Okay, whatever. 300 meters between the two. Seems pretty good. Alright, we are in orbit. Sweet. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing. Our cheapest, our cheapest orbit, orbit capable craft yet. That's pretty good. <laughs> and now it's doing lots of barrel rolls. Okay, um, cut that out. Now, uh, we could try to land at the KSC. Land at the KSC, then go to KFC and call it a, call it a dinner. All right? Okay. Not sure why the inclination tells me we're gonna land way far away. Uh, it really slam on the brakes though in order to get there. Whoa! Oh, that's because this thing's spinning out of control. Whenever I put any kind of control input on it. Okay. Put it right over there. What what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeesh. Okay, that seems good to me. Eighty six point nine meters per second. I think we've got that. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Four minutes, five second burn. Slightly deranged, welcome to the stream. We are piloting probably the world's cheapest and smallest SSTO. Why did this drift off of the... Okay, get it on the maneuver node. Then... Time accelerate. Why is that the way that is? That doesn't make any sense at all. Accelerate here. Get rid of that maneuver node. Pretty silly. No. Oh, wait, that was it. Okay, okay, okay. Periapsis. Derp. Alright, well, nothing to do now, but 
I'm accelerated into the, the landing, quote unquote. The rocket scientists do it. <laughs> I wouldn't call me a good rocket scientist. I wouldn't. I would maybe. Maybe your username, slightly deranged, is a great description for me. <laughs> I don't have, as you would notice, I don't have any landing gear on this. I actually have these girders. They have a high crash tolerance, so that's my rationale on using them to try to land on. What I'm not liking about this SSTO design is that it doesn't have much fuel. It can't really go anywhere besides orbit around Kerbin. We're going to have to fix that. Some way. Okay. Um, let's actually rotate so that the landing gear, and I use the term loosely, is pointed down. Okay. We're trying to go on in. Keep our nose pointed down because that's how KSP aerodynamics work. Because we want to fall out of the sky like a rock. When I land my lander, I had to put an extra landing gear on the nose so after it lands and tips over, I can do a takeoff like a plane instead of a rocket. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty clever. That could have been use. That could have been useful. Oh my God, you guys! You remember that little lander I was trying to fit into that shuttle bay? Why didn't I just put gear on, landing gear on it? It could have landed in any direction it wanted, and it could have taken off like a plane. Oh my god, slightly deranged, you're the most brilliant genius ever. And those gear, they're so close to the... They're so close to the craft, I bet it wouldn't clip into the shuttle bay. Holy smokes. Ah, <sighs> I need to write that down so that when I use it for the YouTube series, I make that change. Crazy, you're a genius. You're a flippin' genius. I was trying to fit a lander into a shuttle bay, cargo bay thing the other day, and I couldn't couldn't do it. Kept clipping. The landing gear kept clipping. I was driving myself crazy. And then you just waltz in here today with a brilliant idea of using wheels instead. It could have tipped over any direction it wanted. Ah. Oh. oh, well. Nikki's, Nikki's, Nikki's Drad. Oh wait, welcome to the stream. We are landing a very cheap SSTO. Um, it can't really go anywhere other than Turbin's orbit, which I, I perceive as a problem. Now hold on a second here. Didn't we? Ha didn't the aerodynamic system indicate that we were going to be landing well? really close to uh, KSC. Didn't it, didn't it say that we were going to do that? Ugh. That atmosphere mod, I tell you, it's starting to starting not to work very well. No, you need to turn off these things. Okay. I'll fly back on flipping jet power. I can't test the landing gear out in the middle of the ocean like this. This is the worst way to fly a plane, by the way. I didn't even have a quick save because I thought that mod was just so good. Okay. We're back. Okay, let's uh, actually fly over this island and see. we we'll probably take this thing to deep space if we can launch it on top of something. This would be a great little plane to do science on lathe with. Because I, I, it could probably land under its own power and take off under its own power. This might actually be a good design for a lathe lander plane type thing. You would have to attach it of course to a deep space worthy vessel. But it, it, it could probably do, it would probably do that job of getting a Kerbal to lathe and science on lathe, they'd probably be able to do that job pretty well. I'm about to run out of fuel. OK. 
Okay. Navarone! Welcome to the stream. Been a long time since I've had a mod in my stream. And here we are with two! Holy smokes! Time accelerate this. Getting silly. I, I really want to just test the landing gear. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just uh alter it. I'm in I am impatient. <laughs> 